Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of representing equations for multi-step problems. This is standard 5.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have three friends that rode their bikes, Christine, Philip, and Nathan, and we need to figure out how far Nathan rode his bike. So let's go back and see what clues they gave us. So Christine rode her bike 27 kilometers. So I'm going to draw Christine here. She's going to be a little triangle dress, curly hair. I'm going to put a C right here so I can keep track of her, and I'm just going to just draw a line and pick a distance and I'm going to say 27. 27 kilometers. So that's km. Now, Philip rode his bike 12 kilometers less than Christine. So that's interesting. So let's draw Philip here. I'm going to put a P right here. And I don't know exactly how far that's going to be, but I do know it's less. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to say 12 less than Christine. Obviously we can calculate that in just a moment. So if I take 12 away from Christine, we're good to go. And then Nathan rode his bike three times as far as Philip. Wow. All right, so here's Nathan. He's also going to be a little stick person. He's going to have curly hair this time, and I need to go, there's once, I'm going to put a little little line so I can keep, keep track, that's about twice, and maybe that's about three times as far. So three times Philip. So let's see if we can figure out what exactly we're doing here. So first we've got, we're going to start with 27. So 27 and we're going to take away 12. 27 minus 12. That's going to get me 15. So I'm going to put 27 right here. I'm going to put 15 right here. So we've got 15. That's Philip. I'm just going to put that right here in parentheses so we can keep track of it. And then Nathan has got 3 times Philip. So that's 15. That's 15. That's 15. So if I did 15 times 3, that's going to be 45. So Nathan went 45 miles, but as you can see, it's not asking for this number 45, which we just calculated. It's asking for the equation. Now what we could do is, since we went ahead and worked out, we can actually put our 45 in here, substitute that in for n for Nathan, See which of these equations gets us 45. So take a look at A. A, they're going to add first. So we have the, we have the parentheses. We're always going to do our parentheses first. Remember our please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Right, our PEMDAS parentheses comes first, no matter what's inside of it. So 27 plus 12, that's going to get you 39. And then, afterwards, we're going to do our division. So 39 divided by 3, no, it does not equal 45. That equals 13. So it's not going to be A. So B, 27 minus 12, that's 15, which is, that's what we did. We got 15 from Philip. We multiplied that by 3, 15 times 3. Okay, B is looking good. Let's just double check C and D. So we did 27 minus 12, that's 15. Oh, but look, and C, they divided by 3. So that's going to get you 5. And he went 3 times as far, not 3 times uh, not as far. So C is going to be wrong. D, we're adding again, that's going to get you 39 times 3. Holy cow, times 3, that's 27. That's 117. The times 3 is right, but adding is incorrect. Our answer is B.